Hey guys, so I'm in my PJs. I didn't um, really think that I was going to be making a video, so excuse my attire. But I did, however, have a haul at Target, um, or had a shopping spree at Target recently, and I wanted to get you guys um, the first look for my haul for Target. And um, I just wanted to apologize to you guys for my lack of videos lately. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, you would know that my dog got really, really sick and she contracted parvo virus. So it, it's pretty serious and um, she almost didn't make it. But now she's home and we're giving her her medication hopefully um, when she gets her vaccine on Monday, which today is Tuesday, she will um, be scot-free and all better. But I've been dealing with that and um, I just haven't had the time to upload, edit, or film. So I'm filming this and hopefully I'll have this up super soon and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Alright, so let's just jump into it. Um, I have never purchased e.l.f. products before. I think I have a e.l.f. brush here or there, maybe like one, maybe two. And someone wrote me a comment on one of my videos asking me how I liked e.l.f. products or like a certain product of e.l.f. And I didn't have an answer. I It's one of those things that I just never had tried before. Although I heard that it was very good in quality and low in price, so I've always been kind of curious. A lot of times also um, e.l.f. seems to be the dupe to a lot of things. So I figured why not give them a try. And I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. And um, yeah, okay. So. This first product is a dupe for, I believe it's called the Laguna, oh god, what's it called? Yeah, so the NARS Blush and Bronzer Duo is $41, and this one is $3, and the NARS one has the Orgasm and Laguna, so I was right, okay. So um, this is supposed to be the dupe, and you can see in the picture, and I think I already uploaded this one onto my Instagram. Um, the blush on the packaging looks very much like Orgasm. I don't know if you can actually see without the glare. It's a very peachy pink with kind of goldish um, undertone shimmer. So on the packaging it looks very um, similar. Okay, right off the bat, the packaging is hard, and I like that. I've never had... Um, the cheap blush that came in a nice packaging like this. This is kind of familiar. It looks a little bit like a NARS packaging, the way that their eyeshadows and their blushes come packaged. Um, the feel of it is a little bit different than NARS because NARS has that matte finish. This one's a little bit more glossy, but it's still very sturdy. So I like that. This is great packaging for something that's super inexpensive. I wouldn't expect such a thick package. Okay, so it has a protective plastic on it. I always hate getting these off. I mess up, I always mess up the um, the blush. Alright, so you can see these are the um, blush and bronzer. Then is similar. This one's obviously bigger because it's a bronzer and a um, blush. But you can see it's very, very similar. This one's matte so it gets a little bit dirtier. This one's a little bit shiny so it's easier to keep clean. Um, this orgasm is the original orgasm, and you can see that it's a super bright peachy pink. This one's a little bit paler. Mm -hmm. I don't actually own Laguna to show you if that's an accurate swatch or not. Alright, so I'm going to swatch this on my hand, bare fingered. No primer or anything. I can just tell you by tapping it, it's super pigmented. I am beyond impressed. It is really pigmented. And you can see they're almost identical. This is the um, orgasm and this is the elf one. I am beyond impressed. I like it a lot. They're very similar. The orgasm is a little bit more pink whereas the um, elf one it has a little bit more of an orangey pink undertone. I mean orangey peach undertone. But they're almost identical. I promise you on the camera it doesn't look that way, but they are very, very similar. Even if they're not completely identical, for $40 difference, it's worth it. Imagine you're paying 
$41 plus tax for one blush and you're paying $3 plus tax for a blush and a bronzer or I don't know if that color comes by itself or not but yeah and then I'll swatch the bronzer for you and the bronzer is very pigmented as well I am super impressed and it also has a little bit of sparkle in it as well which I believe Laguna does as well again this is Orgasm and this is the e.l.f. products right here side by side a real life picture and see how similar how similar they are so that the camera doesn't mess with um, your idea of whether or not they're similar or not. So you can find the swatch picture on my Instagram. This one is called St. Lucia. Um, also something that I just noticed at the packaging site was that they do not test on animals. So that's great. I love stuff like that. I love finding out that a great product is also cruelty free. I bought four. I thought that they were really great prices. I believe they were each three dollars as well. So I got these three. This one's Candid Coral, Mellow Mauve, Twinkle Pink, and Pink Passion. Now I'm going to switch one. Actually, you know what? I'll apply it. Again, the package is really great and I love how there's a clear plastic here so you can see exactly what color um, your getting when you have these in your makeup kit. I wasn't wearing any blush so you can see this side from this side. Big difference. I'm very impressed with the pigmentation and quality of these products for such a cheap price. I don't know why I hadn't discovered e.l.f. products sooner. I also picked up this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow and I have it in the champagne color and I also have it in black which is kind of what I wear for work. And I decided to pick it up in Liquid Diamond which is a silver color which I thought would also be great for work. I believe there's a Chanel eyeshadow in very similar, I think I own it. Um, after this video I'm going to see if that's a, a dupe or not and then I will, if it is a dupe, I will upload it to my Instagram. Alright, I gotta find it because I just bought it the other day I don't think I've taken it out of the bag. I don't know where I put the bag. Actually, no I didn't. I did one more L'Oreal product and, actually two, two L'Oreal products. So, I got this. This is the Telescopic Mascara in um, Shocking Extensions. And the reason why I bought this is because I wanted to do whether or not it was a dupe for... What's it called? The Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. So, it's that duo that you put the fibers on and then you put the mascara on over it. So, after this video, I'm going to do one eye with this, one eye with this, and let you guys know how that works out if it's a dupe or not because this is really expensive this is like 30 40 bucks um, and this is only like six or seven so if I can find that as a dupe that'd be awesome and I will definitely let you guys know so you guys can partake in the awesomeness and if it's an absolutely terrible mascara I'm gonna be really upset because I just spent seven dollars on it for nothing I also decided to get the BB cream by Youth Code this is supposed to be a dupe for, let me see if I still even have it on my phone, L'Oreal Youth, Co Youth Code um, BB Cream is supposed to be a dupe for Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer. So, I don't actually own Laura Mercier's um, Tinted Moisturizer, but I do have her foundation and I absolutely love it and let you guys know whether or not I love it or start to hate it. <laughs> so by L'Oreal, I got the Magic Lumi Highlighter. So this is supposed to be a dupe for YSL's concealer or slash highlighter. I haven't even opened it yet. You can see the plastic is still on it. Um, so when I get around to using that, I will definitely let you know if that is a dupe or not. I feel really bad duping things and telling you guys, oh, I found this dupe online. And then people were like, well, how does it wear? And how does it this? And I'm like, honestly, I don't own them. 
So whenever I can pick up the things that I think are dupes, I pick them up and I try them out myself and I let you guys know whether or not they are um, actual dupes or worth getting, you know? I also got two lipsticks. Both of them are L'Oreal. One of them is that new color Riche line that they have, and I love this color. This is in cotton pink. I love the packaging, too. It's super sleek and beautiful. And that pink is like a Barbie pink. I love it. It's very, very pretty. I'm sure that's a dupe for something. But um, there was an open one in the store, so I swatched it on my hand. And it's not very thick. It's a very kind of watery, um, sheer kind of application. This one's in the color Nourishing Nude. And it's exactly the same packaging, except the top of it is um, clear, whereas the other one was gold. So I am going to use those for work, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about those. Okay. Anyway, I adore this color. This is like a coral color. This is um, this is the new color called Hazard by Sinful Nails. And I love this color. I'm dying to use it. I haven't used it quite yet. But I'm really, really excited to use it because it's one of those things that um, is perfect for summertime. And I am also a big fan of Sinful Colors. I just, one of my very, 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 very first videos ever on YouTube was my review on all of their colors and how they compared to, you know, OPI and they're so much cheaper and stuff like that. So, okay, so I also picked up NYC Matte Nail Polish and I've never used it and I don't know if it's going to be like a nice mattifying nail polish or not. Let me try it on one pinky. Let you guys know. So you can see this is glossy. Okay, let's see. Matte. Oh wow, it went matte already. <laughs> it's kind of fast. I'm glad I didn't get my nails done yet so that you guys can see without me messing up my nails how it worked. So it's matte. It's awesome. Cool. Alright, so that was the only two things that I got for nails. And then I also picked up another one of my Clear Mascara CoverGirl um, things. I always use them for my eyebrows and for baby hairs around my face, etc, etc. Alright guys, so that was my haul. That was quite a bit of stuff, but I tried to get it through it as fast as possible. I hope that you guys enjoyed these dupes and enjoyed these products, and if you use any of this stuff, let me know how you um, like it, and if you don't like it. And that's it. I'm going to film my um, mascara comparisons and let you guys know what I think about the two mascaras. Alright, I will talk to all of you soon. Please comment below and let me know what you want to see next, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all my wonderful videos when they come out, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!